Hey, how do you doodly do? In the previous episode, me and my new crew set sail from Porto Polenza, Mallorca, heading for Greece, and we had a rough first night out. But both the crew and the boat was holding up really well, and it is now early morning on May 29 as we continue this leg in this episode. The wind has turned a little bit, and you can see that so have we, trying to hold a course that will take us by Sardinia and further to Sicily. This is the short version of this video. There is an extended version available at patreon.com slash sailmermaid. So come along! Gave us all drugs, so Don't. no one goes seasick. Again. We don't admit anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Today we are gonna do uh, fish fingers with steamed potatoes and creme fraiche. You can't do it much simpler than that without making a pot. Perfect. Perfect. Let this fry. That's pretty much it. Pretty much it. Nice. Yes. Very nice. You need a salad? Let's make one. We bought way too much, right? We don't have to make it. It's ready. Ah, then it's even easier. Yes. Nice. If anybody wants salad? I will go I, ask. I try to avoid it. You try to avoid salad? Yes. I don't mm. like eating my goat's food. <laughs> What did you say? Also, drinking water is not good because? Fish fucks in it. Yeah, uh, it's disgusting, right? Yes. Oh and you God. know what? <laughs> Everybody says that drinking too much Coke is dangerous. Coca Cola. But who fucks in Coca Cola? Nobody, right? Yeah, but another <laughs> thing. Have you ever heard someone drowning in Coca Cola? No. no? And they say Coca Cola is dangerous. What about water? Yeah, that's right. I don't know if I don't know where you learned it, but <laughs> makes sounds sense. Very huh? smart, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, good. Thank you. I love when you're good with me. <laughs> Rogan, yes. What happened last night? What happened? We had a wild ride. Uh, we knew we were going to get some wind, uh, but the wind didn't come from the direction we planned it, uh, from the uh, reports. And uh, it was stronger than from the reports. And we had messy seas. And uh, we had to get the sails down and reef in the middle of the night, which was a little bit stressful. We, uh, we had to... I think Raida did a very good job thinking things through. I, uh, Raida has been very much involved in, in the... Uh, he's taking charge of the boat. He's been involved in the sail trim and uh, stuff like this. And I'm more laid back so I I just let him play and so he had to figure out a good plan and it succeeded so thumbs up to you guys yeah thank you yeah. lucky <laughs> yeah. yeah it was great for me too it was um, yeah. uh, it was a wild night we had I think we saw 32 knots I love when a guy says it was a wild night yeah <laughs> <laughs> not with you Roy <laughs> 32 knots of wind um, and of course it's dark, so you can't see the swells. And uh, for me, the boat, I was not uh, used to it. Now I am. Now we try. And um, yeah, it went well. The boat is great. It's very uh, yeah, safe. Safe to drive. And uh, I have, uh, I am accompanied with uh, people who uh, listens to what I say. So I'm uh, very happy. 
I've been uh, on uh, Thomas. Been on. I've been with Thomas on a trip before, and uh, that's why he's here again. He's doing a good job, and he feeds me when I get seasick. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. Just be honest. That, just be honest. That's why I'm here. Actually, it is. <laughs> yes. But why are you here? You have asked us, but uh, you have yeah. to tell us why are you here? Uh, of course, the experience of, of ocean travel. I've been from the Orkney Island to Bergen once. Uh, I've saved my boat for day trips, like a day cruiser. It's a much smaller boat, and uh, of course, this is a uh, challenge big one and uh, I know Roger from before he lived in my house my basement for uh, half a year almost and I have to say I must have done a pretty good job because he has never rented out since so hey <laughs> that's true <laughs> A big cargo ship in front of us. It's nice to have something to look at. This is day three of our passage, and uh, we are just uh, sailing by the uh, south point of uh, Sardinia. Uh, it's calm seas. We have, uh, I think, uh, up from three and a half to five meters of swell, but it's very rolly. It's not the uh, the rough one. So it's uh, nine o'clock. I think it's time for some breakfast. So, gum bears, Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> and I've had my coffee, so I'm fine. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're gonna have a few gum bears too. Yeah, of course. Yes. Of course. <laughs>
Marcus. Whatever happens, stay on course. Mm -hmm. Seven knots. Nice. Seven knots in twelve knots of wind. Not bad. Not bad at all. What do you think about this guy, though? Uh, mixed emotions. Yes, first time with a uh, Gennaker? No, it's not. Huh? But the Spinnaker didn't stay up for long. The winds were much too unstable with rough gusts in between and changing directions all the time. So he found it best to take the Spinnaker down again. But that was when the problems began. The line of the spinnaker sock had jammed around a shackle in the top of the mast and we had to send our experienced rescue team Thomas up the mast to fix it. It was surely a very rolly and rough experience climbing the mast under these conditions, far out at sea with no land in sight. But Thomas is a tough guy and is trained for similar operations under rough conditions through his job as a helicopter rescue medic. So we just got the spinnaker down and then the wind, of course, died on us. Hard work? Yeah, it's very hard work. It's just uh, the toughest guys that can do this. Yes. Sit there for so many hours. Back hurts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nice. Home seasickness? No. no. no? Oh, this is just nice. So it's uh, our uh, third night shift on our passage over to Greece. Uh, last night the wind died us on us completely, so we are motoring along. Uh, it's been very calm. A little traffic, I just got up, it's four o'clock in the morning. Um, before I went to bed we had a visit of some dolphins and they've been back since. I've been told so it's been a very calm interesting entertaining night thank you very much for watching this video if you liked it please make sure you give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already an extra thank you to all my patrons who support the making of these videos especially my gold supporter Harold Riddle if you want to support these productions, please head over to patrons.com slash sailmermaid. See you in the next episode. Bye bye.